Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. You are here for part three of the Makeup Collection Declutter series. If you've missed any of the previous ones, I will put a link in the description box below. There is a playlist on my channel as well, so if you wanna click that, it should just auto play and you should get through them in no time. I will stop nattering and let you get back into the footage. So I'll see you on the other side. Next draw. Oh my god. Let's lower you again. So, these palettes here. These are Revolution palettes. Oh, I should... I should really get rid of some of these. Okay, this blue one will donate. This one will donate as well. That one will keep because it's nearly done. And we'll donate her as well. We'll donate those. I've got a couple of these on my selling pages, actually, the Renaissance highlighters, because I don't need them all. I really like this colorway. They are absolutely gorgeous. They come in a little, I'll show you. Why not, I'll show you. So they come in a little bag like this, and they come in a cute little oh, purse thing. And look at them. Isn't that just gorge? So gorge. So. We'll pop her away. We're definitely keeping her. Then we have the Nude Attire by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics collection of Liquid Lippies. Look at those colours. Oh, so gorgeous. Keeping this. Keeping this. Should we put this up here? Do you think she'll fit? Oh, she does. She does fit. Lovely. And we'll put it there. This is going to be sold. This is the Taurus Complete Eye Wheel by Revolution. If we just open her, I'll show you what she is. She's a complete eye wheel. So if I just give her a little open, you've got two different brow shades. You've got loads of different shadows, and then you've got a nice primer there for the eye. Comes in a, a quite a weird packaging, but at the same time, kind of cool. Kind of cool. So we will sell her on. Oh, for goodness sake. Get in your packaging, love. These bits of paper. Yep, that's definitely going to be gone off and sold. Next, we have the Revolution Blenders here. These were from the Joker and Harley collection. Really cool. Definitely going to keep them. We'll put them up there. Then we have, oh, this is nice. This is a Revolution Bold Cream Eyeshadow. Did I say Revolution? I meant Revlon. I do apologize. It's a lovely color, but at the same time, I don't think I'm going to use it. So I think we're going to sell this because it's sealed. Yep, we're going to sell this. We're going to sell that. Next, we have more lip products. Oh, look, another vinyl liner. She can go in here. And then I've got a gorgeous purple lip crayon, another red L'Oreal lip crayon. They can go up here. And this is a second gloss that I've got. It's a Revolution Joker one. I, I love this collection. Firstly, I love the Joker anyway. And then secondly, that's a gorgeous gloss. What shade is that in? Does that have a shade? Joker Smile. Ooh, very nice. We will put her in there. Next, now I just took these out of the magnetic palettes that they were in and I put them back in their original packaging. So this is the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Flaming Love palette. Look at those shades. Oh, so gorge, keeping that. And then this is the Vintage palette. So lovely, so, so lovely. Definitely keeping both of these. Next, we have two of my favorite palettes of all time. This is the Soph X Revolution palette. You should know this by now. Look at that, so gorge. I think we will declutter the this one, the first one. We'll donate her because I only really use the Soph Extra Spice palette. Oh, 
it's just such a gorgeous palette. I really, really love it. So we're gonna we're gonna keep the extra spice and we'll donate the first eyeshadow palette. This is another gorgeous palette. This is the Tammy X Revolution Tropical Palette. I used this for my No Mirror Makeup Challenge, which was a mess. You can check it out on the channel somewhere. Really nice shades, definitely keeping that. This Desert Queen eyeshadow palette. Um, used this for my Makeup in the Dark tutorial. Well, not a tutorial, a challenge. <laughs> I think we're gonna donate her though, because I don't I don't need her anymore, and I've got shades like that in other palettes, so somebody else can definitely get more use out of it. Oh, these were testers from work, but these were testers that were never used. I swatched that one. These are gorgeous infallible blushes by L'Oreal. Really, really like them, so I'm definitely keeping that palette. I have a Bare Minerals Contour palette here. It looks like it's brand new. Oh yeah, it's, the, it's, got, it's got the little packaging inside and the screen and never been used. Wow, that is, that's gonna go. That is gonna be sold. We're gonna sell that one on because I I've got enough contour stuff and I'm sure somebody else could use a palette like this. So we'll sell her on. Such a gorgeous palette. This is my sugar pill palette. Now in this palette, I'm, I'm definitely not getting rid of this, but I'll give you a little backstory. In this palette, I have the Flaming Love palette and then I've got uh, the other palette that they did. I took them all out of their packaging. I should not have done that looking back now, but I did it in my uni days. And then Sugar Pill started selling these, so I bought it and they do look really good together. I do have some other Sugar Pill shadows, which are just in this little Z palette here, which I also took out. <laughs> these four here are Sugar Pill shadows and then that's another, I think that's another Makeup Addiction one. Oh God, I get really scared. Yeah, Crushed Blueberry Eyeshadow. So I, I'll keep them, keep them in their little Z palette. Riviera, oh my goodness, by Anastasia. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. So gorge, so, so gorge. And colors I would use. Great brow color, great highlight color. I use these, obviously. Um, just gorge, really, really gorgeous. Not a big fan of this packaging, but at the same time, you're getting great eyeshadows for it. So definitely keeping that. This is disgusting. This is definitely going in the bin. Look at, uh, uh, look at that, that's going in the bin. What else have we got? Revolution ones. Ooh, these are nice. Look at those. Oh my God. I don't need them, but I think I'm gonna sell them on. Yeah, yeah, we'll sell them on. <gasps> oh my God. And then I've got face highlighters. Oh my God, and glitters. Oh wow. Yeah, these will both be sold on. Next, I have a liquid eyeliner by Liqueura. Am I ever gonna use this? Probably not, it's sealed. So we're gonna sell her. Sugar Pill Eyeshadow, this is the Kim Chi shade. Love that shade so much. Don't wanna open it though because limited edition. I think you can probably still get it, but I've, I'm just, I'm gonna to have to double check before I open it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade though. Oh, I've got some nail glue. Don't need that at the moment because I've got the acrylics. Do need them redone though, because you've probably seen the line, but we'll address that later. The Island Escape Palette by P.S. Oh, that's gorge. It's not being used though, so I think we will sell her on. Another Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. These are, I know you're not gonna believe me, that these highlighter powders, so gorge. I love them. I'm keeping them obviously 
anything makeup addiction, just keeping them. Oh, this is my Kat Von D. <laughs> oh, thank God, my contouring guide, that can go. Tropical Storm. The black in here is really good. Spout it really. We'll donate her, definitely donate. This I'm keeping, Wild Love. I always reach for this because the black is really good, the oranges are nice, the browns are good, and the shimmers are really nice as well. So I'm definitely keeping this. This was a PS Primark Cosmetics thing. Really like that. Cool Smoke, now, they may look cool, but they're not. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna donate this, definitely. And then I've got a couple of Revolution palettes. This, oh, so gorgeous. Definitely keeping that. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And then this was my dupe uh, palette that I bought for Blue Blood when I sold Blue Blood on because I didn't want to keep most of my JSC stuff for obvious reasons. Is that not Blue Blood? It really is. It's so good. And I love, love the metal packaging that they do. So I'm definitely going to keep that. So let's put those together and put everything back in the drawer that I'm going to be keeping. Wow, that drawer has really, really been reduced down. I think we could probably combine these two drawers. Again, we'll do an organization video at a later date. Okay, our next drawers are the deep drawers. Now, one of these features all of the stuff that I've already put up to sell, and then the rest of them just have so much stuff. <laughs> Let's lower you down again. First of all, these are going, these lashes. Don't need them anymore. I will show you later on that I have so many more lashes that I'm much rather use and I've, I've worn these multiple times. So they're definitely going in the bin. Next, <laughs> oh God, it's so embarrassing. This is a brush roll that I bought from Bedellium. Need to buy a new brush roll. That's a given. Cause I mean, look at that, that's disgusting. And secondly, I'm going to be doing a video where I go through all my brushes and then I get rid of the ones I don't need or donate them and we'll do a whole declutter of brushes in a different video. This organizer, lovely stuff. You can see all the little black bits from where the brush pack has just disintegrated over time. It is rather disgusting, but at the same time, it's all right. We'll get a new one. We can just brush this out later on. What do we got? A PS blush. Really nice shade, really like it. Definitely keeping that. Another PS blush. Love that, definitely keeping it. Really nice. A Lacura blush. Now this blush was supposed to be a dupe for orgasm, I believe. It's not opened. And I'm not gonna open it and use it. So selling this Lacura blush, definitely. A Rimmel Royal blush. This is a cream blush. And looks quite cute, we'll keep her. She's, she's really small, so she's all right. A Lacura highlighter. What does this look like? Hmm. Let's let's open her up. Ooh. So we've got an intact brush, and the highlighter has not been used yet. We're selling her. We're selling her. Don't need her. Revolution strobe highlighter. Now this highlighter is actually really gorge. The way it's laid out in the packaging. Not my favorite, but a really nice color and finish that it gives the skin. So we'll keep that. This I really love. This is the Revolution Pro um, Skin Finish in Opalescent. I can't ever open these things. There we go. Oh, you just swirl your brush in and you wipe it over the face. Gives you a light shimmer on the skin. Really nice, really nice. Keep that. These I am keeping hands down. These were when Revolution ripped off Manny MUA's highlighters. I bought them all up when they released them because I really liked the packaging and then found out what they did and was like, oh, that's a bit much. So still keeping them really, really nice packaging. 
guess what? This is another part of the Jessica Rabbit collection. This is the highlighter that they did. Oh my goodness, this is called Roger, darling. How lush is that? Oh my goodness, definitely keeping. There's no way I'm gonna get rid of any of that. Let's grab them out. These are the Halloween oh, highlighters that Revolution did. Of course I got all three. Of course I took them out of the boxes because they were a bit rubbish, um, the cartons. There's a lovely white one actually, gorgeous if you're doing really pale skinned stuff. A gold, nice summer highlight there. And I think this is a pinky one, I'm guessing. Yeah, a pinky one as well. Gonna keep all of these. I I really quite like them actually, and I love the the squishy aspect of them. We'll definitely keep those. They're just a mess to get in and out of the drawer. Next line we have this Anastasia Powder Bronzer. This is in the shade, what is this shade? Oh, Mahogany. Love the packaging on this, love, 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 love. Yeah, really nice shade, does work for my skin tone. So, we'll be keeping this. This is the MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Pot. Been using this for years, have no complaints. Really, really good product. Love, love, love. If I can get the lid back on. Keeping her. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Brand new, never been used. Will use that at some point though. This, however, will be going. The Lacura Bronzer. It is literally just a rip off. I'll be selling that. Definitely, because I've already got the Hula one. What else have we got here? Ooh, a MAC bronzing powder. Now this, this is embarrassing. This is the MAC bronzer in CC4, maybe? Look at that. I've been using that for years, absolutely years. Gonna keep it until it goes. The Ready Set Smooth by Barry M. This is a gorgeous powder. Really like the compact there comes in. Love that it comes with a powder puff and a mirror. Ooh, that's a lot of, a lot of stuff. Yeah, definitely keeping her. The e.l.f. setting powder, really like keeping that. Ooh, another highlighter. This is a really cool highlighter. It's purple and then this gives off a pink sheen. Uh, this was in the shade Mermaid Tail. Love her, she can go in that space we've done. Oh, MAC Full Coverage Foundations. I love these. These are just huge versions of the Painterly Paint Pot, to be completely honest. Love them, really, really nice foundations if I want a bit more than Studio Fix, but a bit less than Cryolan. Good middle ground. Oh, I love this. This is the Foolproof Brow Powder by Benefit. Really gorgeous presentation and really good shades for my brows. If I'm doing them in drag, I will probably go for the powder. So that's where that comes in. What do we got here? Oh, a bright green face paint. I mean, when, when am I gonna use that? But I'll keep it anyway. Just this white snazaroo. I used this when I did my him transformation. Probably do another one of those actually because Looking at that video, it needs a bit more work. And I think I'm ready for that challenge again. So we'll find out what happens. Next, I have an e.l.f. blush and bronzer compact. Fiji, I believe this is. Yeah, Fiji. Um, really like the shades in there, really love that blush. So I'm keeping that. The Revolution. Mm, this is a three-in-one thing. Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. I think we'll donate her. This is a oh, pride and joy as well. This is the Rocky Horror Picture Show MAC collection. These are the Riff Raff shades. Oh my goodness. 
So gorge. Magnetic. Oh, just and the, the box is in really good condition as well. Look, look at all of that. Oh my god, so stunning. Never getting rid of that. Never ever ever. I would love more of this Mac collection, but it's really expensive to buy now. Really expensive. This is a petite palette by L'Oreal Palace. Palace Paris. This was given to me by the wonderful Pinar. Definitely going to keep this. Love those shades as well. This green, this purple. The brown, really good shade for the brows. Ooh, speaking of L'Oreal, this is one of the brow artist kits. Really good. Very similar to the foolproof brow by benefit as you can see sorry for wobbling the camera yeah really good um, really really cheap as well like nine quid i think really good love that another thing that Pinar has got me this is a hella gorgeous pastel highlighter shadow and blush palette those are gorgeous shades gorgeous 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 oh just really nice from turkey a gorgeous brand this is the jsc supreme frost highlighter that he did now i'm in two minds about this because it's cute but it's a little bit dark for me and i don't use it so i think we're going to put this one up to sell because i don't use it don't use it anymore yeah selling hair next two of the white pressed powders now we've got room for the third one wherever I put it. Did I put it in here? Ah, yes. We will chuck her in there. Oh, now this I'm in two minds about because I don't have a box for it. And they're gorge shades, but at the same time, I think I'm gonna sell it though because I don't use it and the colors are really nice. No, no, I'll keep this. I'll definitely keep this. These are going to go. They're just going to go. I don't, I, oof, not for me. Use them on my eyes. Not going to use them anymore. They're gone. These are hilarious for a little costume moment. Or if I wanted to do a video where I, these could be the worst that I could get. Definitely keeping those. More lashes. They're going. These Primark ones, really good lashes, but I've cut them down and I've used them since, not for me. And lastly, in this drawer, if it will come here. Now these are gorgeous lashes, but I'm never gonna use them again. <laughs> I believe they're Stargazer ones, but yeah, these are gonna go in the bin now. They've had their time. Okay, we've got some room in there now. Very nice. There you go, part three done. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like down below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you want to check out the shops that I have, then I will put the links in the description bar below and subscription to the channel is optional. Thank you so much again for joining me and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care and stay tuned.